I'm Richard Vobes, TV's bald explorer, and I'm discovering Britain. I'm on the south coast of England, hiking across a range of chalky hills known as the South Downs. And this time, I'm looking for something small and hidden in the landscape. Care to join me? Sussex and the east side of Hampshire are blessed with an area of outstanding beauty. And in among these rolling hills are bustling market towns, breathtaking views and hidden gems. I'm on the South Downs National Park, an area that covers a vast landscape of 1,600 kilometres squared, containing a rich tapestry of wildlife, ancient forests, history and peculiarities. It also offers tranquility and beauty wrapped into one. Today, I'm looking for a hidden gem. I'm looking for the smallest church in Sussex and the tiniest still active church in Britain. And here it is. I'm in Lullington, a hamlet close to Alfriston in East Sussex and close to Cookmere Haven, home to the mighty Seven Sisters and close to Eastbourne. There's very little here in the hamlet and I dare say that's why the church is known as the Church of the Good Shepherd. And that's an apt name really because prior to the Second World War the South Downs was principally grazing land. Oh, there's still sheep here but nothing like the quantity there used to be. But just look at it. It's Diddy. Perfect for Ken Dodd and the Diddy men. Alright, I'm showing my age. So, if I walk the edge like this, you'll see just how small it is. It is actually only 16 feet and just room for 20 parishioners. Well, I don't even think there's that many shepherds around these parts. Look here. The remains of a larger building. And indeed, there was one. You see, what we see today, although quaint and charming, is really just the remaining chancel of a larger building. The old nave is said to have been destroyed around the time of the English Civil War. Tradition says it was on the orders of Oliver Cromwell. Well, he was a Puritan, and I imagine a Roman Catholic religious house like this, with its wall paintings, flamboyant statues and icons, would well have gone against his sensibilities. Originally it was built in the 13th century with the nave and that's all here for you to explore but let's go in. Wow. After Cromwell's destruction by fire we're told in the mid 17th century the remains of the chancel seems to have been left alone and probably only used by Travellers or shepherds come to prayer, or more likely take shelter. Well, it does get windy up here on the South Downs. The main repair didn't take place until 1806, and yet 80 odd years later, it was described as badly kept. Finally, it was restored in 1894, and became associated with Alfriston, a small town down the road, in 1927. Every church has its font, and this is the one at Lullington. It's a remarkably old thing, and it's quite lucky to be here because it was found in a neighbour's garden, partly broken. I wonder how many babies were baptised in here. These days, the Church of the Good Shepherd is mostly used for weddings. And I think you'll agree, it does make a, a beautiful backdrop. Of course, all that's missing is a tea urn and an honesty box. Well, I've certainly enjoyed my visit to Lullington Church, and if you're ever this way, it's most definitely worth a visit. Now, don't forget, join me again next time I go exploring.
Vobavision.